Welcome back to another week in Dear Piggy's Java Data Structure video. So in this week's videos, we have one more video about tree sets where we're going to focus on part two of tree set methods as well as learning how to loop through our tree set. And then we will go on to talking about our new data structure, which is a secret for now. So in this video, we're going to very quickly create a new tree set, go over it really quickly, learn around three new methods, and then learn how to loop through our tree set, and then we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Last video, we talked about our tree set methods part one. We learned about how to check if the item was in our tree set and the first, last, and higher and lower. Remember, higher is alphabetically higher up in the alphabet. Lower is alphabetically lower in the alphabet. So those were the part one of our tree set methods. Now part two is just having to do a little bit more with removing items from our tree set. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go to Replit and I want to go ahead and create my own REPL. So let's go ahead and create a Java REPL. Now we're going to have to go and create a new tree set. So for those of you who are in my classes and not just watching these videos like over and over, well, we it's been two weeks since we've done a video, right? So let's go ahead and review it really quickly. Our tree set, usually the first basic thing we use is set, but since we are working on manipulating and playing around with our tree set, we're going to be using navigable set, navigable set. And that is because we want to be able to manipulate our tree set. So navigable set string, Let's give it a name, ts is equal to new tree set, and then semicolon. All right, so all that I've done here is just create a quick tree set. Remember, when we're creating tree sets, we're going to import java.util.star because that doesn't come in our package, right? So we have imported and we've created our first tree set. So let's just go ahead and start adding some values to our tree set. Last time, you guys can see we added some fruits over here. Um, Let's go ahead and do ts.add, whoopsies, put the parentheses and put the semicolon in the wrong place. ts.add, go ahead and add, aha, tree set here is capitalized. That's why it's always giving me an error. Right, so tree set.add, what should we add? Let's go ahead and add, hmm, let's add sports. So, Classic ones are soccer. I'm just gonna go to what the ones that are usually played in the Olympics, um, basketball and swimming. These are ones that people usually like to watch a lot. Now I want to add lacrosse because lacrosse is going to be in the Olympics very soon. So if you're watching this in 2028, lacrosse might already be in the Olympics. Pretty cool. Um, I think, Figure skating, I'm pretty sure, is in the Olympics, and that's, that's in the Winter Olympics, right? But that's always fun to watch. They're really pretty and stuff. Can't think of any more. Oh, I remember somebody told me chess boxing. I thought that was super funny, but what happens is that you play a game of chess, and then if you tie, you go and play, and you go box a match, and then you tie, and then you play chess, and so if you tie, you just go back and forth between chess and boxing, which is really funny, because usually people who do chess and people who do boxing are very different, so you have to do both. So that's just kind of my funny one to add in for today. So now that we've created our basic tree set, we can go ahead and start um, manipulating it, right? Doing things to it, removing and playing around with our tree set a little bit. So the first function that I want to introduce is the remove function. And I bet you could never guess what the remove function does, right? So remove function. So if I did ts.remove, now it's gonna ask me for some sort of value in here. Now, when I add, put in this value, let's say I put in, um, football, even though I'm pretty sure football is not an Olympic sport. 
I feel like I should definitely know this, but I'm almost positive football is not an Olympic sport. Is football in the Olympics? Mm -hmm. So there is no football in the Olympics. Right, okay, good. I was like, I'm not going crazy. I'm pretty sure I've never seen a Team USA football team. Okay, good. So we removed football, but football, is it really in our in our tree set? Well, we know the answer is no. Right, so then if we go ahead and try to system that off that print LN, TS, and I'm gonna print out our tree set right after this just so that we can compare. System dot out. Oh, I can't type today. Dot print LN, TS. And then I run my code and we are going to get, what are we gonna get? I'm curious if it's gonna give me an error message or if just nothing is gonna change because we do know guys that football doesn't exist, right? Okay, so it does not give me an error message, but also nothing really changes, right? And you can say the method remove string is undefined for type main. Basically it's trying to say, there is no such thing as football in your tree set. What are you doing? So then let's go ahead and remove chess boxing. Now I have to copy chess boxing exactly the way I inserted it, which means that the C must be capitalized and there must be a space. So then after I remove chess boxing, we technically should, we have one less, one less value in here, right? And if you look really carefully, something that I forgot to mention, but we did talk about in previous videos, this is ordered alphabetically, meaning that chess boxing is not at the end here just because we added it at the end, it's actually second. And so now instead of chess boxing being second, figure skating is second. So yes, that is what the remove function does. Easy peasy, right? removes values removes values from tree set. all righty so after we do our tree set remove another one that i want to show you guys is pull first pull first function and so what pull first does is let's just go ahead and run it first so ts dot pull first and then system dot out Oh my goodness, dot print ln ts. Okay, so if I run this code right now and I look at my tree set, it's going to delete something because we know poll is going to delete something. But what did it delete? Okay, so let's take a look. Originally, we had basketball, chess boxing, figure skating, lacrosse, soccer, swimming. Well, what happened now? We have basketball, figure skating, lacrosse, soccer, swimming after we got rid of chess boxing, right? So this second one, in case you're confused, actually, if you like, let's comment this second one out for now because that has to do with our previous remove function. So let's run this again. Or actually, no. What I should do is I should comment out this original one and leave this one. So what we're looking at right now is we're comparing the tree set where we removed chess boxing to the tree set where we pulled the first value. So then let's run it again. Um, I just wanted to make this one more clear for all of you. So when we get it, after we remove chess boxing, it's gone. But then after we pulled first, which value disappeared? Well, if you compare it, swimming, swimming, soccer, soccer, lacrosse, across, figure skating, figure skating, basketball got removed. So we know from what we see here that pull first is going to remove the first um, value in the tree set. And so remember, that poll means to actually physically delete it, right? Remember the difference between poll and peak? Um, poll is like actually deleting it. Peak is just printing it out, but doesn't mean it's gonna get deleted, right? Um, you could also, if you wanted to, you could just do system.out.println poll first, and that would still do the poll. So the item would still get deleted, but it would also tell you which item is getting deleted. So in this case, it's telling you that basketball over here is the one getting pulled off because it's the first. So similarly, after pull first, we also have pull last. Pull last is going to, what do you guys think it would do? I think it's gonna remove the last value in the tree set, but I could be wrong, right? So system.out.println pull ts.pull last. And then 
new function here. And then I'm going to print this one, the entire tree set out one more time. So TS. Here we go. So let's run our code. And we're going to see that we get drum roll. With what value do you guys think is going to get removed? We think, okay, well, we don't, we don't think anymore. It tells us it's swimming. Why? Because swimming alphabetically is at the very, very last of our tree set. So swimming gets pulled off. So in the end, the sad little very sad tree set that we're left with only has three items, figure skating, lacrosse, and soccer. So we went over these three methods. So good, those made a lot of sense. The next thing that I do wanna go over before we finish this video is how to loop through tree sets, which is easy peasy, right? Cause up until now, again, arrays are nice, right? And printing them out in array form is fine as well, but it's not always the coolest way to do it, right? It doesn't always look nice to look at things in brackets. So we are going to use a for each loop to print out our values. In case you haven't noticed, if you ever wanna print something out, whether it's in like a loop or it's in some sort of data structure, for each loops are usually the way to go, right? We've used for each loops quite a bit now. So how we do that is very, very simple. There's no like, there's no, I feel like for tree sets, there's not really much like tricky parts that I re we really have to think about. So this is just a straightforward for each loop. And so since we're printing out strings, because everything is a string, the data type we give is a string. Let's give it a variable name x for now. And then we give the tree set name, which in this case is just tx. So system.out.println x. So remember, this is just the standard format of a for each loop. So use for each loop to print out values in tree set. And this is just for each loop, use standard. So there's no like weird different special functions that you have to use in the middle. It's just your average for each loop. So we print it out and we see figure skating, lacrosse and soccer. Now, if we wanted to do that at the top here, after this, it would have been nicer because we actually had would have had some things to print out, right? We kind of deleted everything. So when we run it at the very top, we get basketball, chess boxing, figure skating, lacrosse, soccer, swimming. Okay, so pretty nice, right? Just always nice to see things listed out in a row, in my opinion. Okay, so guys, that was our first video for this week. We talked about some tree set methods, remove, pull first, pull last pretty self-explanatory. Then we talked about how to use a for each loop to print and loop through all the values in our tree set. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Next up, we're going to be introducing a new surprise. There we go. I looked at it. We're going to be looking at a new surprise data structure, which I don't want to tell you yet, but you guys will find out in the next video. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you.